everyone, this video is going to be on connecting your flutter project to your Firebase project. And I've done this as a part of other videos, but I thought I would do a video on just that aspect for those who might find it useful. So here we go. All right, so if we are going to connect a Flutter app with our Firebase project, we need both of those. So I'm going to start in Firebase in my console, and I'm going to create a new project here. So let's just call this Firebase demo. And I am not going to bother with Google Analytics here because this is just a demo project. All right, and while that builds, let's go ahead and create our Flutter project. So I'm gonna type Flutter create. Now, if you are just doing a demo project here and you don't care about the bundle ID, you can just go ahead and give your app name here. If you plan on taking this forward into production, you uh, are better off to set your bundle identifier at this time because you need that for Firebase. And once you have it, it is horrible to change it. Very easy on iOS, uh, but very difficult on Android. So if you have a bundle identifier name, which is just kind of an ID in mind, go ahead and use it here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, but you can omit it if you are just uh, setting up a, a demo to follow along. So let's do Firebase Setup. And actually, before that, I need to put my bundle identifier. I need to put dash dash org. And I'm going to do com.julo.firebase. All right. Let me stretch that out a little bit there. So I've got my uh, Flutter Create. I've got my dot .org or slash org uh, flag here. I've got my bundle identifier, Firebase set up. And we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. So while that runs, I'm going to click Continue here. And it looks like my Flutter project is all set. So I'm gonna open that in Visual Studio Code. Uh, I'm just gonna, whoop, I better CD into it first. Code dot, and I'm gonna do the N flag to get a new window. All right, so let me slide that aside for now. And let's focus back over here. There are multiple instructions out there, uh, even from Google, on setting up Firebase for Flutter, and they all differ a little bit. The one I like the best is if you go to the Firebase website, and you go to Docs. And you go to either one, getting started with Android or getting started with iOS. It doesn't matter. You can go to either one because we're just trying to get to a launch page here. And down the side is this tab that says use, Firebird, <laughs> use Firebase with a framework. And then Flutter is the only option. So click on that. And these are the best instructions I've found for hooking the two together. And there are chips up here, uh, one for iOS and one for Android. So when you you do Android, you can you know start there and then you can flip back over here to the iOS instructions. So let's start with Android. And the first thing we need to do is create a Firebase project. So we've done that already. Next thing we do is to register our app. And so to do that, we want to go to our Firebase console and we want to click here on Android. And here is where it's going to ask for that package ID. So let me pull this over here. And where I want to go is Android app SRC main and into my Android manifest. And what I'm looking for is right up here at the top, this attribute of package which I manually set. If you skip that portion, you just get a default package identifier. Doesn't really matter what it is, but just has to match whatever you feed here to Firebase. So we can paste that in. You can give it a nickname. It's optional. And you also have the option of entering a certificate. Uh, this is for Google sign-in, I think also phone verification. Um, if you are interested in that, there is a 
a link here in the documentation for getting your SHA certificate and pasting it in there. Uh, we're just going to skip that for now. I'm going to click register app. And while that registers, I'm going to flip back here to my instructions. And I can see the next thing I need to do is download the Google Services JSON file. And so this has brought me to the page where I can download my Google Services JSON file. So I'll do that. It says to move my config file into Android apps. So let me shrink this. Um, let's see, I can pull this up here. We can shrink that. And I've got my Google services JSON here in download. So I want it in Android app like that. Okay, I think I'm good with the download folder for now. Let's bring this back over. And the next thing we need to do is to go into our Gradle files and make sure we have some settings here. So the first is our root level Gradle file, which is an Android build Gradle. So we've got Android here. And let's see, shrink this up, Android build Gradle. Right there, right in front of my eyes. All right, so we need to check for a few things here. We need to check that Google exists in the repositories. Uh, let's get this best situated here. And so we're all set there. I see Google right here in repositories. Um, I need to check for dependencies for this GMS Google services. And sure enough, that's not there. So I'm going to copy that. I'll take the comment too, and I'll put it below the Kotlin plugin. All right. And then I need to check down in my all projects repositories to make sure Google is there. And it is. All right, the next thing I need to do is look in my app level uh, build Gradle. So that will be an Android app build Gradle right here. And I am looking to add this plugin line for Google services. So I'll just copy that. Uh, fish around a little bit for apply plugins. So I've got one here for Gradle again. So we'll come in down after that and add that one right there. All right, and one more thing I would do before we leave here is to, it doesn't actually say this in a documentation, but go down here to default config, find min SDK version and change that from 16 to 21. Uh, Firebase will work more or less as a base okay with 16, but when you start adding things like Cloud Firestore, uh, it's gonna need a minimum of 21. So go ahead and change that now and you'll save yourself some trouble later. All right, so now we're just down to adding the Flutter Fly Flutter. <laughs> now we're just down to adding the Flutter Fire plugins. That's difficult to say. Uh, and this is also the last step for iOS. So I'm gonna leave this step for the end, and I'm gonna flip over here to iOS. All right, so we have created our Firebase project. We need to register our app with Firebase. And we can do that by going back to our Firebase console. We can just next out of all of this. And we're ready to add another app. We've got our Android here. We're ready to add an iOS app. And so we want the bundle identifier, same thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Xcode and I'm just gonna grab my bundle identifier out of there. Just make sure that I get the same bundle identifier, sometimes the casing is different by default in iOS. So I'm gonna open another project and I'm going to navigate to my project. So I've got it. Well, I've got a lot of projects here. I am looking for the iOS folder and I am looking specifically for runner XC code project. I want to click right on runner 
and it will come on a general tab and this is my bundle identifier right here so I'm gonna grab that paste that in has to match exactly and I'm just gonna call this iOS app uh, that is optional the store ID is also optional and you can come back and fill that in later we'll click register app and we will get another download this is a Google services info P list so I'll download that and then I'm just gonna next out of all of this and I will go back to my instructions and it says so I want to download my P list which I did and I want to use Xcode to move that file into runner slash runner. So I'll go back here to Xcode. I will bring over my download folder. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drop it right into runner runner. And I want to click finish. And there we go. All right. Get this out of here. I think we're done with Xcode for now. We'll move that aside. And actually, we're down to add the Flutter Fire plugins. And the one we want to start with is Firebase Core. So we can go to pub.dev and look for Firebase Core. And go to installing. We can grab the dependency there and we can put that in our pubspec.yaml. Place it down below Cupertino icons, which always eludes me. There it is. Uh, looks like I didn't save my Gradle file yet, so make sure I save that before I boot this up. And with that, we should be ready to start the app. Now, if you want more functionality in Firebase, this has basically nothing. Um, you want to make sure that, for example, if you want a database, that you go here and you click Get Started, set up your database. So you've got storage here as well. All these options, and they all have packages for them. So, for instance, if you wanted Firebase uh, or Firestore, Cloud Firestore, there it is right there, and you would grab that and bring that in. So from here, the, the core is just your base Firebase application package. Um, you want to add on the services that you need in Firebase from here, enabling them in your console, and adding the supporting package through pub.dev and in your pubspec.yaml. All right, so I'm just going to boot that up, make sure that works. We'll slide this over and okay we have our demo app and what I'm looking for here is any errors in the console I don't see any so we've successfully linked our Firebase project uh, to our Flutter app and you can add services as you need to from here so that's all for this video I'm gonna have plenty of videos where we take it from here and do more uh, but I wanted to just get one down on connecting the project uh, to Firebase so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and hopefully we'll see you in the next one